Hi everyone. Welcome to my virtual meeting once again. Really happy to see once again and happy to share my insight on a very very important concept and a important question which comes to our mind as to what is the career scope in fraud investigation and prevention a profession which can in short can also be called it as ftp fraud detection and prevention you know wherever i go in terms of corporates or outside india or in, in various form of forums people keep asking me this question as to how we can make career in this field or people tend to also ask us to if we are already into this profession what what best can we do out of it how we can proceed up in the hierarchy how we can utilize the skill set support the organization and so on so i just thought that let's discuss this very very important concept as to what are the career opportunities in the profession called fraud detection and prevention i keep telling people that this is the career which is futuristic now when i say futuristic it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist today it doesn't even mean that we are talking about something which is few year down the line unfortunately frauds are everywhere around us in the next last two and two and a half years been tough for each one of us due to pandemic but if you look at the trend the only thing which was really going up in last two years was fraud when i say futuristic career option why i say so because the demand for professional who can support in fraud detection and prevention will always be there in future it's there today it's there absolutely gonna be in tomorrow however the demand in future for this profession i foresee as much higher than what it is today so it's high time that we learn this particular skill set also to think about having a very bright career ahead in the field of fraud investigation why i think that the demand for fraud professional will be going up will be supported by certain survey so let's just have a look at the surveys which we see well it says that frauds been growing across the world a basic survey done by pwc explained that 43% time you see attack on the companies from outside there are external fraudsters it could be various kind of fraud in this case for example social engineering cyber attack vendor related fraud and so on but more shockingly 31% time the fraudsters are inside the company that means can be anyone who's internal perpetrator somebody who's sitting in the company and cutting the company there are lot of fraud which are happening in and around us if we see more statistics these are few example of external perpetrator could be a customer a hacker a vendor supplier competitor anyone that means company is not safe if i say company is not safe from anywhere i wouldn't be misquoting it the threats are external threats are internal talk about manufacturing you talk about service industry various kind of frauds are happening and it doesn't mean that fraud only happens in big organization fraud can happen in even a smallest of the shop a business is a business and it's not just businesses which are hit by frauds it's people like you and me so if we talk about an individual individual is not safe either correct and that is why i say that this is the profession which has nothing to do with industry whether you work in manufacturing or service or retail or energy or health or any other area you can still experience frauds country neutral no matter how much we want no country is safe from frauds you go to any part of the world you may experience different kind of frauds so i would say country neutral and then i say domain neutral 
it doesn't mean that you know fraud only happens in financial industry or or those department which deals with money like finance department that's a myth fraud can happen in any domain and that is why this is a profession which will be always in demand everywhere everywhere this is something which is actually alarming because frauds are growing at really really rapid speed this particular slide will really open up your mind and this is just for one part of america which says that the market for fdp fraud detection and prevention which was by 21 was 24.8 us dollar billion of course so about 25 billion dollar by 26 it grows up to 66 us dollars 66 billion us dollars huge why do you think from 25 billion dollar we are expecting the market to grow to approximately 66 billion us dollar again because of frauds you talk about any kind of fraud whether it is banking insurance cyber social engineering the frauds we experience day in day out frauds are everywhere with these statistics and numbers well i am not trying to scare you out at all all i'm trying to explain that when i say this profession has a long way to go i'm just trying to tell you why i say so and with this let's think about making our career in this field the discussion of making in this career in this field could be really lengthy and of course my next video will cover that each and every part quite in detail so whatever all four five segments you can see right now this is something which in my next videos i'm going to cover each and every field quite in detail you can become fraud and risk specialist well hierarchies depend on the company so you can start from the basic go to the top but you can make your career in fraud and risk specialization when i say fraud specialist it does not mean that you have to be specialist in how to do a fraud let, let me put it in this way fraud prevention specialist right then another field which is quite in demand and is going to be more in demand in future it's money laundering so we definitely need professional who can support the countries the companies about with anti money laundering money laundering is absolute serious problem for any country it's kind of criminal offense and we definitely need people who can support with anti money laundering cyber security well, cyber is everywhere the way we are interacting is computer so computer in crime can be used in many manner so computer can be victim of crime can be object to commit crime and computer can also prove as an evidence in a crime any crime which is supported by technology might be covered under cyber security or cyber fraud so when cyber frauds comes into picture cyber security comes into picture because you have to prevent the cyber frauds isn't it so in order to prevent the cyber fraud it is important that we have more cyber security specialist on board and that's how i see as cyber security data analysis everywhere we see the data right so data is everywhere around us data about vendors employee people our banking data data is everywhere right and when we are into this profession of fraud prevention it is very very important that we need we we want people who can analyze the pattern in the data right it is not just important to dig down and you know pull out certain reports it's even more important to analyze the pattern do you see any trend do you see any kind of you know uh, predictive analytics by using certain models checking if this kind of fraud can be repeated in future or not you know, all those things can be done by data analysis or data analytics specialist as i said these are the thing which we're going to be discussing quite in detail so this very very brief uh, video was just to tell you that 
द अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन दिस फील्ड्स गॉना बी ह्यूज इट इज अप टू अस हाउ फास्ट वी रियली वॉन्ट टू मेक अर करियर इन दिस विद दिस लेट्स मूव टू द लास्ट लेक वेर आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू अपडेट दैट इट्स बीन इट्स बीन वाइल दैट आई हैव कम एंड इंटरक्टेड विथ यू गाइज वर्चुअली बट देन वी गॉना बी मीटिंग मोर ऑफन नाउ I'll be coming up with more videos talking about more and more about this profession starting with generic going to absolute technical part where we'll be discussing very very minute detail about this profession so stay tuned to our channel and stay tuned with me so that you'll be updated on the current trends of FTP in the market so let's with this let's wind it up let's meet up once again Till then stay tuned thank you so much take care